The first Friday football fever of the season begins tomorrow night in our 10 p.m. newscast. And one team hoping to pull off a week one upset, Marana. The Tigers are taking on mighty Sal Point. Jenna Fink has more from Northwest Pima County. Marana High School's football field was damaged in last Thursday's monsoon, but the Tigers aren't letting that dampen their excitement. They're ready to take the 2023 season by storm. We got to think about how, how the people had our back, and now we're going to go have their back by being on the field and winning some ball games. Marana head coach Philip Stewart is big on family, and that was on full display last Friday when hundreds came out to help with the school's damaged field. All those people coming out, we did kind of save it, but then at the end, we got better news that they just going to give us a whole new field. The Tigers now plan to play their first home game September 22nd against CDO. And that good news means Marana can switch its focus from the field itself to how it plays on it. But they're focused, they're locked in. They know we got unfinished business. Marana went 10-2 and two last year, losing in the second round of the playoffs. This season, the Tigers are back with their dynamic hurry-up offense. It makes a lot of the defenses you know, play bland. They can't really blitz. They can't really disguise anything because we're going so fast. And other teams don't condition like we do. And you can tell because they be tired. The Tigers are led by quarterback Jason Wood. He played two games at QB last season before Elijah Joplin took over. And I'm going to come out there and do what I do best, you know, distribute the ball to everyone and just go win us a ball game. The senior has plenty of talent to throw to, including Desmond Roebuck. Last year, he had nearly 1,300 receiving yards and 13 touchdowns. Miranda kicks off the 2023 season at South Point Catholic tomorrow. Reporting in Miranda, Jenna Fink, News 4 Tucson.